What's up Dope Dogs? Michael here from Dope Dog. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the things to look for when deworming your puppy. So this is a serious issue. We're going to dive into it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow us for more. We're doing a ton of educational content coming up here. So we're excited. Parasites are a common issue and these are the three things to look out for when your dog might have parasites. It's fatigue, diarrhea, and weight loss. Any of those three things, it could be a sign of parasites. Let's get into what to look for and how to treat parasites if your dog does have it. Common ways your dog can get worms. There are multiple ways your dog can get worms, but here are the most common ways. Soil. Usually the dog will shed the eggs or larvae through their feces. This can mix in into the soil where the eggs can survive for many years. When other dogs come in and swallow the soil, they can easily get infected, especially during a walk in the park. Animal carcasses. Animals like rodents, birds, and rabbits can ingest the egg and pass it to your canine companion when they devour a small animal. Some tapeworms can also pass through immediately to the host and the dog eats them. Fleas. Many species of tapeworm live in a flea's body. Once your dog ingests it, it, they can quickly get infected. Pregnancy. The roundworm larva can be transferred from the placenta to the puppy before they're even born. The larva can pass through the mother's milk and infect the puppies during the lactation period. How to deworm a dog. The deworming schedule depends on the dog age and the product that he or she is taking. For example, puppies should be treated every two to three weeks with two to three treatments to eradicate the hookworm or roundworm. For adult dogs, it depends on the parasite or worm on the microscope of the stool. Keep in mind that heartworm preventatives are an effective way of destroying hookworms and roundworms, as well as preventing whipworms. Deworming medications. There are various deworming medications available for dogs. The products are based on which type of worms are in Fido's system. The common medications are Prantol. The most common medication is Prantol. Uh, Pancure C, Prezequil, and Albadin tabs. Dog owners should be aware that some breeds are sensitive to the products, so it's vital to check in with your vet before any deworming medication. Types of worm found in your dog. Before deworming process, it's essential to know what type of infection is found in your dog's system. Here are a few of the most common. Roundworm, hookworm, tapeworms, and whipworms. How often should I deworm my dog? It depends on the dog and the location. An adult dog should be treated every three months and also to obtain a monthly heartworm or flea medication. It's highly recommended that you check the cover of your product. If it does not have tapeworm treatment, you should consider a product that does. If you have a puppy that's vulnerable to worms, then you should be treated more often. Puppies should be dewormed every two weeks until they're 12 weeks old. There are other preventative methods which include avoid giving your dog raw meat, wash your hands thoroughly before touching your dog, and limit exposure to animal carcasses. How can I deworm my dog naturally? Roundworms and parasites can make your dog very sick. However, veterinaries can help treat your four-legged friend with a deworming medication. Unfortunately, some pet owners feel that these substances can cause undesirable side effects. Here's a few ways to help your dog treat these naturally. How to deworm your dog with tobacco. Small amounts of tobacco mixed in with your dog's food can get rid of worms or parasites. Natural herbs can aid in digestion and metabolism to flush the worm through the digestive tract. Other herbs like peppermint and cinnamon can also aid in digestion to remove the worm. Carrots. The oil through carrots can expel the worm through the feces. Plus the nutrition from carrots can help replenish the electrolytes and substances that are lost from the infection. Garlic. The juice from the garlic is highly toxic to the worms and parasites in your dog. All you have to do is press the garlic extract and the juice will spray onto the food. The juice does not have to get rid of the worm, but it can prevent future infections. Using CBD during the deworming process. Deworming can be very stressful to your dog's body. It can lead to mood swings, it can result in anxiousness, aggressive, sadness, and fatigue. Fortunately, we have some CBD treats that can help cool and calm your dog during the whole process. When your dog is more relaxed, it can strengthen their immune system to help them recover faster. How long does it take to deworm a dog? It could take as little as two hours for the worm to start dying and 12 hours after the medication to eradicate all the parasites and worm. Keep in mind that you may still see worms in your dog for about one to two weeks. If the infection is there for more than two weeks, then it's time to get another deworming medication. 
You may also notice bloody stool. That's because the medication is destroying the worm and shedding them apart. It's normal to see this within the first few days after treatment. Diarrhea can result from inflammation of the GI tract. After the medication, the worms would unlatch and go through the intestine for expulsion. This is why your dog may get constant diarrhea after the treatment. Diarrhea usually lasts for one to two days, but if it lasts any longer, then you should call your vet. The take home message, if your dog has parasites after watching this video, if you think that's true, go check in with your vet. Again, we'll be doing a ton of content, so like and subscribe, comment below if you have any questions about your dog. We're on a mission to make all dogs happy here at Dope Dog. I'm Michael from Dope Dog, see you guys later.